You know, I thought I'd watch an interesting video here with Top G. Top G, Top G, Top G. And it's all about NoFab and that type of thing, you know. Nothing really new, but I have to say, like, for me personally, most of this shit, you know, it, it's just all been triumphed by this overbearing addiction to video games. Like, I just got off a huge gaming session playing video games for three hours. Yeah, that's cool. Like, three hours. And I wasn't even doing good as well. I was just dying off drop. I was getting like, I started the stream strong. I got 17 kills in the TDM no, match. But then like, I just kept playing and playing and playing. And not only did my teeth hurt, I don't know why. I brushed it twice. <laughs> like, I waited. Brushed that hole twice. Still hurts. Maybe I'm breathing through my mouth too much. <laughs> they can't through my nose. Because I'm just, I'm coming from being sick. Let me just pop this real quick. No, not drugs. This is technically a drug, isn't it? Like, anyways, I don't know if it's if I'm not breathing through my nose or breathing my mouth or some shit. I don't know what it is, but bro, I I play games for three hours. I could be reading, could be doing work, could be doing this, and as a result, I don't only do I feel tired. What are they doing? Oh, my neighbor's shining his wife and kids. Like, not, not only do I feel tired, I get like, just out of it. I also am just not as productive as I can be. And, like, I just lost all the opportunity costs. Like, I just kind of just lost it. And m more so than that as well, like, I was, um, I was reading books for a bit. And, like, just before I picked up the book to read it on my tablet, my tablet was spazzing out, like it was just lagging before I could even use it. I was like to myself, wow. Imagine I just kept reading this book, and I kept applying this book, and I kept working towards actually like developing myself in this book. What if I did something like that? How where better off would I be? Not, like, I'm reading deep work by Cal Newport. Not only would I be able to do deep work and be focused, and be relentless, be hardworking, etc, etc. I would also change my life and change the trajectory of my future. And then shortly after that, this is very quick by the way, like a split second like thought, like genuinely split second. And then after that, I like I was like, holy fuck, dude. I, 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 saw, I saw two realities, bro. And I genuinely saw two realities and like, as a result of my actions. From loser, depressed video game geek, to, you know, some improvement, how I'm getting, I'm getting girls now, I'm getting, um, whatever, whatever, I'm getting money, I'm getting girls, I'm getting in better shape, I'm getting happier, no more depression, no more none of that shit. So it's like this. Going up in life, and then going back down again. You know why? Because of video games! I went three days without exercising because of, because of video games. And I'm the person that didn't miss exercising for over ten months. I'm on my eleventh month of self-improvement. Video games literally destroyed me, bro. Does, does it sound funny? It is funny. It's hilarious. It's just, it's just a drug, bro. I'm addicted. Addicted. Don't look at my tits. Like, straight up. Like, I don't really care about anything else. I just, 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 just want to get 21 4K. 21 4K. 21 4K. 21 4K. 21 4K. That's always all in my mind. Okay, oh, I need, I need to get a, a, a master's again. Like I'm, I'm creating superficial fucking, like, like goals and wants within the video game, and then I log off and I'm like, it doesn't really matter. I'm still, I'm a fucking loser. I, I run. My eyes hurt. My eyes literally hurt making this video. My teeth hurt, and, and I feel lethargic and tired. Cause I put all my energy, time, and uh, mental capacity into fucking shooting people in a video game. Like, come on, guys. I saw two realities, bro. Like, one reality, I'm rich. I'm, I'm not famous. Um, I'm rich. I'm affluent. I'm popular within my group. 
you know, people respect me, people revere me within my group, they're like, oh, Jimmy's the man, Jimmy's the man, I love Jimmy, he, he established his family, house, churn, everything like that, yeah, Jimmy's the guy, Jimmy's the man, and I also see another reality, I'm older, I stink, my room's a fucking piece of shit mess, a pigsty, and I'm playing video games all the time, and my mom's older, and she's still working, there's two realities, there's a reality where my mom's older, she's still working, and I'm a loser, and I play video games, and I'm like, oh, I'm fucking eating unhealthy food, etc. I don't exercise, I'm, I'm, I'm a bum, effectively. And there's another reality, I'm a fucking, I'm an accomplished businessman, fucking wearing the suit and everything, wearing the vest like this with the chain, go whatever, like, like my fucking classic affluent life, my mom doesn't have to fucking work, she's with me on the private jet. She helps me with like, medial tasks like accounting. Like, I don't even care, like, oh, oh yeah, I have like 10 million dollars, can you please process that with the fucking... Within the bank accounts and stuff, etc, etc. I have 10 million dollars. So this shape just paid me. Can you shift it through the bank accounts? Fucking money here, money there, money there. Can you help me with some fucking... Can you help me with some uh, th some debt I, that these people owe me? And then they can see like the debt they own. Like, it's like that type of shit, right? Like, oh yeah, I have money. Like, help me with some bullshit. I don't really need help with it, but help me with some bullshit. So it feels like you're useful. And also, you can see that I'm rich as fuck. Something, something, something like that. So anyway, it's like... I'm like, yo mom, can you help me with some, some um, tax returns, something like that, and then she sees 650k within a fucking week, who is this guy, who is this guy, she sees that, and then she's impressed, and she's looking like, oh, yeah. I, I had a good, it was a good idea investing in my son, it was a good idea investing within my children, with my child, my child has his own children now, his grandchildren, beautiful wife, beautiful life, he's not a fucking loser, on the other hand, video game loser! I'm trying to explain it to you, but my mind's like, my mind's fried, bro. My mind's fried. That's, that's like the two realities I see just before reading the book. And this is like, I'm trying to warn you, I'm trying to warn myself as well. More so myself, because it's, like, it's my channel, I watch back my videos, like a fucking schizophrenic. But more so you as well. You're the viewer, the person that lowly watches my videos, and I respect that a lot. Bro, if you, if you have anything like porn, social media, video games, drugs, anything, something like that, bro, you're fucking yourself so much. You're literally raw dogging yourself so much and you don't even know why. You, like, most people, they're just clueless. They play three hours of video game, yeah, whatever. They don't care. And fair enough, you don't care, right? But like, if you have that 1% of you that cares, congratulations. Like, you, you, are, you are smart. Congratulations. You understand the repercussions of your actions. Congratulations. You're fucking yourself. I only have the fuck my teeth hurt. I think it's because I just breathe through my mouth. Like when I talk. And throughout the entire day as well. You know, my mouth looks small. Other than that, I kind of just lost focus. Of reading, I just try to go to sleep. I couldn't go to sleep. I don't know. I'm back on my computer. I don't want to work. Pardon me before I take some. I'm gonna take some eye drop. My eyes are fried. One. Two, one, two, I don't mind the dry as fuck. That's this. And um, yeah, sleep is an old fab sport. It's, 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 not, it's not a big deal, guys. It's an old fab shit. Um, I haven't dropped off in a minute. I'm fat in a minute. The, the, the secret behind it is you get so busy with your life and you get so productive with your life, you don't have time, you don't find time to be a spurg. And I think the same thing will apply to video games as well, but I'm not sure. Because video games, like with me so far, because I'm so addicted, I always try to find time for video games. This is dumb, man. I'm not in the moment.
But just get busy. You know, a real man doesn't fucking pipe the pepper. Real man doesn't do that shit. There's enough time. I mean, real man's working. Stupid clip. If you don't know, basically what happens is this girl likes this girl, this guy. This girl is the ex of this guy and she wants him back, but it's not gonna happen because he's on the Sigma Metal. Good pill. Escape the Matrix bullshit. I mean, it's not bullshit, but it is funny. Like, it's just again and again and again. The whole podcast. I really like Myron. I like like other guys, but we're gonna switch it up sometimes. Yo! How is this allowed? Oh, yeah, I'm just stretching out my legs a little bit. But he, he's just a friend. Yeah, let's just let's not watch this video. I wanna watch. I wanna watch um, Hamza video games. Because, like, um. What is wrong with my keyboard? Turn it off and on again. Okay. Look, it's so satisfying typing on this. Bro, I literally, I tried to type on my, my laptop keyboard. And like... Uh, time to get shouted at. Yeah, he's right. He's fucking right, bro. <sighs> he's right. He's right. What can I say? Like, he's just correct. Like, what the fuck. It's just um, it's just dumb. It's so addictive. It's so like, it's so fun. Well, not necessarily fun, but also stimulating. And what it does is just it just it just encapsulates it encapsulates you, and you get fucking like addicted. You get hooked, bro. And yeah, all the friends you make, all the people you meet, all this or that, it's usually not real unless like like with me, I found some. This is a rare exception, but I found some guys that make money, they do stock training, you know, real adult people, etc, etc, on video games. So I was like, you know what, let me get their numbers, a trade contact info, and then I'll talk to them, etc, etc, you know, talk business, etc, etc. No, that's like a rare occurrence. The most of the time, you just meet spurs in the video game, like, fuck you, you piece of shit, you trash, why'd you die there? So, um, yeah, it just, that's the big problem with it. What's the big problem is that this shit is not fucking working, bro. No. I'm bringing this shit in. Is Working, sir. My bad, guys. He's right. The video game shit. 
It's not a scoff video. <laughs> it's not just a scoff video. It's not just a scoff video. It's not just a scoff video, bro. If I want to feel dopamine for being a badass, I'm going to do the old school hardest way. Thank you. Yeah, definitely. I know it's just um, yeah, it's it's good listening to fucking Andrew Tatian. Um, don't really like um, got me out of it a bit. Um, meditate. My view on video games gets so many comments and so many guys asking me why I'm so aggressive and hostile towards it, and that's where I take the like the mock, the mick out of people who say this. Oh, I, I only play for one hour at the end of you know a hard day of work, and so many people have tried to figure out the reason why I'm so against video games, and a bunch of them have said, oh, but he's he's just projecting because you know he's wasted a lot of his life on video games. Well, yeah. That's exactly why I tell it to you. You've got to understand the, the way that you give advice to someone, the way that I can transfer my wisdom to you, is if I've made mistakes and I've wasted time. I feel nothing but disappointment in the young men that I see who waste time in the virtual world instead of real life because there is no excuses anymore. You have in front of you the accounts of hundreds if not thousands of men who are slightly older than you who have told you that their lives got significantly better when they stopped playing video games. So it's disappointing to see so many guys who are on self-improvement but who have this idea like, oh, but it's not so bad. Yeah, like, it, it's not horrible. Congratulations. It's not like heroin or something. Fine. But is it good for you? No. Absolutely not. You can bring up this fucking bullshit research of like, but it helps you with your hand eye coordination and your memory, and just shut up. Are you using that hand eye coordination in the rest of your life? Of course not. You can make some like wishy washy theory that, oh, but if you play it, then maybe if you play sports, it might help. Well, just go play sports. Go practice for the thing that you need the hand eye coordination and the memory for in the first place. Then you can say with the, oh, but the socialization aspect, but I guarantee that the people you're socializing with are fucking losers. I guarantee that not only that, you're also not getting into deep conversations with them when you're playing those games. You're just talking about the game. You want to have that socialization aspect? Why don't you invite those same people to come meet you and go do something once a month, once every three months? Why don't you do a meet up together? And this idea that, okay, you, well, what if you just play one hour a day? It's not so bad, is it? The truth is, I hate this, I hate this excuse, and it is just simply an excuse. Because it's the shit that I used to say, that's why it pisses me off, that's why like, I have this attitude that like, I fucking despise you if you play video games. Because I see my younger self in you, who made all these poor decisions, and yes, like you know, I'm grateful for where I am right now, and I wouldn't be here if he didn't make those decisions. But you have to take the wisdom and the learning lessons from someone that you relate to. If you're watching my videos, you somewhat relate to me. This idea that, oh, but what if you just play one hour a day? You know, there's always the same comment that they say, but, you know, I meditate, I exercise, but I just play one hour a day. It's not even bad, Hamza. You're like, you're blowing it, or, like, you're over-exaggerating how worse it is. The fact that you need to write an excuse like that, the fact that you need to say, oh, but look at me, I, I, I'm really good in the rest of my life, so it's not that bad, is it, guys? Shows that you already know that it's an inherently a bad habit. And it's not one hour. Stop lying. Now, if I play for three. And you're someone who doesn't play video games and you're just taking a step away from it. You know for a fact that those motherfuckers who say that they play for an hour, they're, they're totally bullshitting. You play for an hour a day if you're 13 years old and your parents control how much you can play. 100% I agree with you. If you're 13 and your parents are telling you you can only play one hour of RuneScape, then you'll be playing one hour because your parents are keeping you accountable for that. But the truth is, most people watching this, most people who say this one hour of video game bullshit, they're 16, 18, 20. Some guys are in there like fucking mid 20s still playing video games. Yeah. One hour. You haven't set like a fucking timer to play one hour. You're saying that it's an hour when the actual thing is that you're playing for at least, at least one and a half, if not two, if not three hours. 
every single time you log on, every single time you're in like a gaming mood, you play for multiple hours, but then it also takes over your mind for the rest of the day. You're subscribed to like these fucking like, you know, like pages where they talk about video games and maybe social media pages and subreddits and Twitter pages and you watch those videos on YouTube. So it's more like three hours, let's say on average, every single day. The same guys say that they don't have time to educate themselves, to read, like, and, like, they say that they don't have time. The truth is, they can't even read. You want to become successful, just start reading. As long as you have, like, a, a hint of that level of the ability to take action, you'll become successful if you read as much as I do, as much as I eat, man, Gadzi, bro. The, everyone's success story in the modern day, it's always the same thing. Like, you, you've seen the same dynamic so many times. Young man is a loser. Video games stops being a loser, reaches the success that he wanted all along. You've seen the same story being told on like every single body transformation video on YouTube. Which uh, I used to play video games all day, and girls eye contact with me. Then I stopped playing video games and started lifting weights, and now girls hold eye contact with me. And you can make all these bullshit. Oh, but I'm the X plays video games. I didn't hear that. I don't give a fuck what they do. You are not them. I've loved the ability to take action, you'll become successful if you read as much as I do, as much as I like Iman Gazi bro. The, everyone's success story in the modern day, it's always the same thing, like you, you've seen the same dynamics so many times. Young man is a loser. Told it all, let me read it, read it. Games, stops being a loser, reaches the success that he wanted all along. You've seen the same story being told on like every single body transformation YouTube video on YouTube. Which that I used to play video games all day and the girls didn't hold eye contact with me. But then I stopped playing video games and started lifting weights and now girls hold eye contact with me. And you can make all these bullshit. Oh, but Hamza X plays video games. Elon Musk plays video games. Michael Jackson plays. I don't give a fuck what they do. You are not them. If you've reached this immense level of success, then okay, congratulations. But you haven't. You are in the growth stage of your life. You have to understand that every hour that you have right now is extremely valuable. The decisions you make right now are so much more significant than that singular decision that you make. Because you make that one decision to play video games today instead of reading a book. Please believe me, I want you to visualize this right now. I want you to visualize like your life split, like your mind split in half. And what, what the fuck? <laughs> That's what I did. What the fuck? So if you close your eyes, on the right side, you're making the decision to play video games for an hour. And on the left, to read a book. Please believe me, even though you somewhat think that this decision is insignificant. Please believe me, it's, it's so much more significant than you think. Because it's not just one hour. The truth is that one hour of reading isn't going to do anything. One hour of exercise isn't going to do anything. And so you may as well just fucking play the video games for this one hour. But it goes deeper than that. Because what you choose extrapolates. to do in this hour, you are more likely to choose tomorrow, and the day after, and the day after. You're more likely to start thinking about it and visualizing success in that area. This is a compound effect. For anyone who's watching this video who gave up video games years ago, you get that same feeling, and you know, we should we should stay humble and have humility, but you do get that same feeling of pride. We're not supposed to like admit it. But you know, like, you feel so much better than the guys who you used to play video games with who still play video games. Because this isn't a one hour a day thing, this is for a lifetime. The truth is that you don't really get to do that much in this life. The idea of essentialism, that you only have like a limited mental capacity to excel in just a couple of areas is so true. And to have one of those areas as video games is disgraceful. Now the excuse comes, but what if you make money? But the truth is, the majority of people are not making money. And at that point, you are like, you need to have some fucking respect <coughs> for those esports guys. Those, like, I wouldn't say that they're athletes, but they're, they're like, you know, virtual reality athletes. The thing is, they are playing video games. They're working. The, the amount of young men who have been lost, they've lost so many, of, so much of their life with this idea that, oh, but I'll become an esports player. Fuck you. You play video games, there's a difference. They're working. 
they work 12 to 16 hours a day and they like meticulously improve their skills you are not doing that you're playing video games with your fucking spurgy friends whilst eating snacks you're not the same at that point if you truly ask those guys a lot of them are, don't even enjoy the game that they that they work on a lot of them do more training in the game than actually playing it I don't like I'm not so much in that space but I can almost visualize some like famous player who's like really really good he spends so many countless Bro, hours I pause he is completely correct. His Watson, Imperial Howe, what does the Imperial Howe say? He doesn't like the game. He has passion for the game, right? That's the whole meme. Passion, passion. Timmy, all these players, bro, they don't like the game. They just play it because they get paid to play fucking video games. It's a better job than a 9 to 5. And, and, they're fucking insane at it. Fade is what, I, I literally tuned into Fade. He was streaming for 8 hours. I was streaming for 3 hours and I was already fucking dead tired. He was streaming for 8 hours. Fucking hours, dying, 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 doesn't give a fuck. What one good game he gets, he turns that into the video, he turns that into a video, which then um, links to his website and everything, which makes him money, and after it becomes an asset, a virtual asset that works for him. That one video, 6,000 damage with Fuse, I've watched that video like 10 times. How many fucking watch hours has he got from that? How much money has he got from that? How much fucking, like, think it's, it's, it's deeper, bro. Yes, he looks like a geek. But motherfucker, that's the whole sh that's the whole shtick. The whole that's the whole game. Holy shit, dude. Training behind the scenes. Tens. Tens is a good example as well. Tens um him and his girlfriend got viral on uh, the internet, but more so more so on that, what happened was like he was he spends a lot of time in his callbacks and uh, aim trainers and just <laughs> goes fucking crazy. And then you see him actually compete and play the game. Yep. I've done reasonably unreasonable things in my life too, and so if someone's told me, but I'm, you know, so many people are going to be YouTubers, then of course that would like, you know, like, I made it. And so chances are, like, there is there is a chance that someone watching this could become an esports player, but you need to be truthful right now. Are you working or are you playing? Be completely truthful. This is only for, like, this, I know that... You know what I'm doing? You know what I'm doing in video games? I'm sucking massive penis, that's what I'm doing. Like, I played three hours, I didn't get, I barely got a good game, bro. I got one, two, three good games. Out of three fucking hours of game, a good, a good game is like 20 minutes, dude. Extrapolate that out further, bro. I was sucking massive penis. <sighs> I'm playing the game. The game is playing me, more so than anything else like that. It's just... Uh, where'd all the time go? That's how I feel about that. Play all the time, bro. <laughs> I'm being a skit all the time. I just don't know why. I wanna, I wanna stop. I wanna stop forever for good. Guys, when we talk about quitting video games, a lot of guys get like insecure and hostile. You've got to remember, like, we're all on, we're all on the same side. We're all on the same team here. We all just want to see young men grow. It's so nice. important that you take some time to have some humility and actually think to yourself, are you going to make it? Are you working? No! No, I'm not going to make it in esports. I'm dog shit. If I was on mouse and key, maybe. I'm much better on mouse and key. But I'm not good enough to play at an esports professional level, bro. I'm going to get chilled on every single time. I'm not going to a lot, get, I'm gonna get paid a lot of money. It's not fucking worth it. It's, 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 it's over. Not only is it overcrowded, like, I have to be realistic, bro. I'm not good enough player. I need to be dropping 4,000 damage and 20 bombs consistently. One, well, at least one per stream. In order to be able to say, hey, yeah, maybe I have an opportunity to potentially make it in within the esports. I can't make it, bro. I can't. And I'm a dumbass. I'm sitting here fucking playing, 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 playing like a fucking idiot. Like a. Like an idiot! A retard! Hoping! I can't! It's not possible. It's not possible, bro. I'm gonna be right back. I'm gonna get a brownie. I wanna, I wanna, I wanna eat some food to keep calm myself. I'm gonna binge eat. No, 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 man. I'm gonna binge eat. I'm gonna get some water. I'm gonna get some water.
Call me. <laughs> yeah, I, fu I, I kid you not, guys. I fucking I stared at my brownies for a good like few seconds, for realizing yeah, I should save it for tomorrow. <laughs> I'm a fat fuck. Looking, looking kind of, look, look kind of, looking kind of. What the hell I'm to my arm? Yeah, man, it's hard to look at from that angle. This game. Like a water. Are you like a fantastic player and you're gonna get excelled? Like you're not playing for enjoyment, you're not even playing games anymore. You're working on one particular game every day for eight to twelve hours. If you're playing for fun, if you're playing for enjoyment, you're not in the category of someone who's being a sports player. You have to take this seriously. So many young guys in this discussion of video games, they get so hostile when someone tells them to quit. Like the amount of comments I see when I mention video games, and people are like, "Oh, what the fuck's wrong with video games, Hamza?" Like, but you, but Hamza, you, you, you sleep with girls. You, you go on Tinder for an hour. That's like, but I admit to you my mistakes. I admit to you that those are like addictions that I that I'm trying to reduce. There's a difference. I waste time, of course I do. I'm a, I'm a human being, I'm not perfect. I waste time. A couple of weeks ago, I had a nine hour phone uh, screen time. I can give you the excuse, I, you know, my entire family were arguing and I couldn't. Yeah, that, that four hour screen time, it depends, you know. If it's nine hours on bullshit instant gratification apps, it's different. If it's nine hours on like a messaging app, for example, where you're conversing with your team, your crew, about some particular project and you're just working your phone all day then it's a different right there's a difference between um top level performers and low level performers with their phone usage their phone usage might be similar within the hours context but within the actual usage context it's different in the sense that hey i'm not using my phone for 12 hours to play video games i'm using it for business and make money and then like they have like tangible results after the day after 12 to 13 hours of using their phone maybe like 13 grand in a fucking day some crazy shit like that and, and like 13 grand and then you know another 20 and then they split through bank account the job is like just following the money some, some rich people bullshit like that on the other hand someone just reading manga reading man or jerking off being a piece of shit playing games on his phone that type of thing you know there's always two sides to this paradigm and there's always two sides to this shit and i think the best way to go about it is be as productive as possible irregardless of like 
like not mining this shit. This is this is honestly, I think this phone shit is all minimal small bullshit. The biggest concern for most young men and most people out there in the world at the moment, at this very very good moment, is am I as productive as I should be, and am I working as hard as I should be towards the right thing that will get me the thing I want the most in life? Am I as productive as possible? That's that's much more important. Than Watch phone hours, this hours, because I've 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 looked at them before. <coughs> Motherfucker, man, I, it doesn't it didn't change my life. I don't care. It could, if it's sixteen hours, but I got like a bunch of fucking money, like I'm working on my phone and they talk to my staff, whatever business partners, etc., etc., and I'm talking to like future projects and I'm, and I'm like getting shit done, or editing my phone or whatever, because of CapCut. Uh, yeah, then who gives a fuck? But if it's it depends, you know, the world is not just black and white. You know, so nine hours it depends, and but in this case scenario, we're just like, you know his family's arguing, and um, yeah, I wish his family well, but it's fucking Asian families, bro, they always argue. <laughs> Fuck. The whole point is like, well, I'm to the point I'm trying to make is like, don't focus on this the small stuff. Like, don't sweat the small stuff. There's a lot of self improvement um, influencers, gurus. They'll they'll tell you to sweat the small stuff, and it's not it's not point. Like um. Yeah, I, I, Andrew Tate, like he has a incredibly high laptop usage, computer usage, phone usage. But he makes a lot of money, so he gives a fuck. So really just fucking scroll on Instagram and call people on WhatsApp, yeah. But I still He's a workaholic, but you know, after here, after a while, you can, I think you can find a way, a way to relax. I'm not proud of it, and like, it's not a good thing, and I aim to reduce shit like that. The difference between that and the guys who are really, really on video games is that they're like, they're coping, and they try and give this excuse, like, no, it is actually good for them. If you play video games, the same as taking drugs, the same as eating junk food, hold your hand up and just say, yeah, I'm being a Jeffrey for a little bit. I want to be a Jeffrey for a little bit. And at that point, it's like, bro, you're a mute. I can't even say anything to you. If you say, like, yep, I'm, I'm a Jeffrey because I play video games, I'll be like, oh, well, yeah, fair enough. He's, he's on a self-improvement journey. I hope he'll probably, like, make more progress as he goes along. The main hate that I have is for the people who act like it's a productive habit. That, it saddens me so much when I see young men talk about it as if it's like productive and video games are good for you because, you know, three reasons why video games are good for you because it helps with your memory. Fuck you. No, it does not. That overstimulation is fucking destroying your brain and that's why you can't even read a couple of sentences without your mind wandering. But it teaches you concepts and, you know, all this like artistic uh, inspiration. Shut the fuck up, bro. This, it's it's one. It's kind of like no fap, honestly. It really is on. I I think, I think it's on level. I think watching porn. Like I've said this before, watching porn and watching sports. Sports, but watching porn and playing video games, they're not that different from each other. They really aren't. And someone's gonna quote all this fucking scientific research, but of course I'm being a bro scientist. It's really not. You're just living in the virtual world. You're convincing your brain that you're actually doing something important. Every video gamer that I come across has this like weird spurgy personality where it's like their entire life is so fucked up that they don't even realize how bad it is because they're surrounded by other video gamers. When you're a normal person, like a healthy person who doesn't play video games and you come across a guy who you know, plays video games, it, it, like, it blows your mind to think like, wait, people live like this? Like you're a normal, like somewhat healthy guy. You stay awake till 3 a.m. playing video games. Why? You eat a thousand, two thousand calories of dirty fucking sugary snacks whilst you mindlessly play? Why? You played for six hours straight and like, honestly, a six hour gaming session isn't like a big one. It really isn't. You play for that long? Why? It doesn't feel that big as well. If you've achieved everything that you've wanted in life if you've achieved a mass amount of success and you're already financially free and like you're so damn happy and you've you know you've been meditating and getting therapy for years and like you're at the ultimate point like yeah like at that point you can like you can do whatever you want but you're not there yet and this isn't me saying oh but don't have fun up until you 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 know reach a point of success the idea is that we want self-improvement we want to be productive and we want to make that fun the productive habits can only be fun if you're not doing any kind of hyper stimulation activity. That's so important. The productive habits that we want to get onto can only be fun 
they can only be enjoyable if you aren't hyper stimulating your brain with something else. This is why those guys who watch porn don't really find much enjoyment in the rest of their lives. The same with video games. This is why the kids who play video games. Why, why the fuck would you read a book if you're someone who actively plays video games? Now someone's gonna comment and like, you know, everyone's got their own anecdote, but Hamza, I read and I play video, shut the fuck up. It's a disgrace to waste your youth. These are not the best moments in your life, like, they, they, they are for most guys, they don't have to be. You know how life isn't like that amazing and you're kind of like young and you don't get the girls that you want and you don't have like the life that you want and your parents kind of bully you and you, you're not so confident, you're not so happy, but you know, you, you might get that fucking new level or the new sword and runescape or some bullshit. Your life will go better and better and better significantly the more you take a step back from these hyper stimulant activities. You totally, the thing is, okay, 100% of the people watching this totally agree with what I just said when it comes to porn. 100% of the people watching this, the majority of young men know now that, like, the majority of young men in, like, our kind of internet space, obviously not the fucking normies, we know that porn is bad for you. Like, everyone in self-improvement knows about NoFap, and that, that even if you're struggling with it, or even if you're somewhat, like, not on it, you still kind of know that porn is bad for you. You still know that taking a step from back from porn is pretty much only going to have positive impacts on you. People disagree with video games. All of those benefits. Meow. Oh, the Z. Say hi to camera. Say hi to camera. Ah, ah, ah. Oh, baby, more food. Ah, back to reacting. This is the hardest job ever, dude. Bring up so so minuscule compared to the detriment that will happen in your life. And a final excuse and argument that, that gamers bring up is that oh, but you know they've worked hard and it's just one hour to unwind and rest before the end of the day. That is not how you rest, and worst of all, that ruins your ability to rest. Because I want you to picture the life of a fucking spurgy gamer who goes to work, goes to school, comes back. He plays for three hours, but he plays for one hour, he promises you he plays for one hour, but he plays for like three to four hours, it's late, it's 10pm or something. And he already knows he can't sleep at this, this is why all video gamers have this fucked up sleeping pattern where they go to sleep like 1am, like something ridiculous, midnight, 1am, 2am. If you're not in bed by like 10, 10 p.m. unless you have like work, you know, night shift or some shit. If you're not in bed at like 10 p.m. bro, you're fucking weird. 10, 11, max. When you stay, like, I don't want to sound like a fucking mother, but like when you stay on your computer, you don't even bother putting on that, like, the blue light filter. Playing fucking video games, your brain's active as fuck, you're looking out for the enemy, you're speaking to your friends and you're shit talking onto them. You know that you're not going to sleep straight away. So this idea that, oh, but it's just one hour to unbind, no. It's one hour wasted of hyperstimulation, but it keeps you up longer. You know, the amount that video gamers say, like, oh, it's one hour to rest and unwind, like, I, I know that you need the rest and unwind because you're sleep deprived because you keep playing video games. And you know, the cure to sleep deprivation, you know, when you really, really want to rest and you really want to sleep, you know what you should do? Go to sleep. What did he say? There is no true excuse, there is no true argument to be playing video games.
consistently. The one way that I can see it be having some kind of like, if you if you must be a crackhead, if you must hold your hand up and say that you're going to be a Jeffrey, the one way that I would personally recommend for the guys who are so so onto it is to do a large gaming session at most once per week. At the most. Do not play every single day. You organize it with your friends. Let them all know that you're going to be playing from Saturday 6 p.m. to midnight or some bullshit. And like that's still crackheady, of course it is. But the idea is then you're, you're gonna like rinse it out. It's so much better then because it's not a habit. It's not a stacking on into every day. Your mind is nice and clear. You get to read and focus on like productive habits throughout the week. And then you have like a day where you're just then not even thinking about work for like the entire evening. And then this like maximizes your enjoyment because it gets to be like a big gaming session. You don't have this feeling of like restraining yourself to like you know just one hour a day. That's the only way that I could somewhat say to a video gamer is like that's the only way. I don't know, like if I was working so hard on like that, I just wouldn't want to touch video games in the first place. I would want, I would want to keep working. Which is what I wanna do anyway! I don't wanna fucking play Apex anymore. Like I'm gonna regret it a little bit when I don't reach master on my alternate account. I don't know if you guys play Apex. I I I missed the, the old blue PK skin on my alternate account and I felt fucking like angry. I missed the the wingman skin and it's still there in the store at the moment, but like I'm gonna miss it, I don't care. Um, wingman PK, the guns I like the most, I'm gonna miss the skins in the store and I'm gonna feel guilty, but it's on my alternate account, I already have it on my main. <laughs> Well, obviously we don't want to end the video, and I'm gonna go meditate. Best case scenario, you close that shit off and you just don't open it again. I'm almost two years clean of of video games. I have to speak like it's like a fucking drug because it truly is. People got criticized me because I said because I said it with like video games that are a drug. Yes, they fucking are. Of course they are. Do you build up a tolerance so that you need to play more video games to get a sense of satisfaction? Yes. Anyone who disagrees is a fucking liar. When we first used to play video games, when we were children and when we were like early teenagers, we could play for literally fucking 20 minutes, one hour, and we'd be satisfied. The longer and longer that you've been a video gamer, you have to play now for multiple hours to get any level of enjoyment. Even then, the amount of people who, th who even think that video games are enjoyable just baffles my mind. Grab your phone. If you are so certain that I am wrong and you're right and your video games are so fun and they're so good for you, do this one practice and prove me wrong. Grab your phone, don't fake this. Grab your phone, set the camera on, position it to you and play video games and forget that it's recording, don't fake it. See how many times you actually sit there and smile and laugh because I guarantee that you're gonna spend the next four hours, even though you said it was one hour, you're gonna spend the next couple of hours mouth breathing, just, yeah, he's behind the corner. Yeah, oh, we got him. Just fucking mouth breathing. That was me, that was me, that was me. Over the next couple of hours. And the only time that you're gonna laugh Truly, the only times that you're gonna laugh whilst you're playing video games is that your friend makes you laugh. And what you really wanted through all of this was social connection. And now you can choose to continuously keep getting the social connection from your low-value little Jeffrey friends who want you to, who will only speak to you if you're playing video games, which should be a fucking red flag. Or you can start to improve yourself and actually become a man of character, be, improve your mental health, be mindful and grateful. Improve your social skills and you start to make good quality friends who will not want you to play video games because they'll want to be sat in front of you talking while you guys are doing something healthy together. That is the life that we want to build. But the truth is that the people who are in this area of life, like those good quality people who go on hikes and who like, you know, go to the gym every day and they're, they're so mindful and present and they would be such amazing friends. The truth is these guys don't want to be friends with video gamers. They, they, these are these are nice people, so they'll kind of say like, "Oh, do you know, I don't really mind someone can play video games." But the truth is, they wouldn't even be around a little spurgy guy who stayed up to like three a.m. and he's sleep deprived. Imagine the, the personality of a video gamer; they wouldn't even cross paths. I fucking hate video games, bro. And people say it to me, "Oh, but you're bringing up your past trauma, and you know, like video games was like different for you and stuff." But of course I am. Of course I'm going to give you the advice that. I have from my experiences you should be taking that more on board because I'm not speaking of ignorance I'm not a guy who's like never been on video games I've been truly on them 
I've got thousands of hours on the main games that I used to play. <laughs> Same. And you can hear not just from me, but from so many young men who have taken a step back, who literally said, like, it's only been positive so in funny. my life. I don't realize why I spent so much time on it. I don't realize why my studies suffered through all of high school, through all of college and university. I literally just played fucking video games. And it's always that same thought when you get to, like, when you talk to guys in my position. We just think, what if I just put that time, even a fifth of that time, into something productive? Into making a business or learning a skill or even playing with just sports. You want a sense of, like, social connection and you want a sense of competition and achievement. Just go play sports in real life, man. It's not the same thing. It's sad because the guys who need, like, the, the truth is I'm speaking to the camera right now and I'm imagining that I'm speaking to a video gamer. The truth is that the overwhelming majority of them clicked off this video like a minute in because it, it hurts to have your views challenged. I think the only people who are truly watching, maybe you can comment and let me know, but I think the only people who are watching are the guys who totally agree with me and it's like, you quit playing video games and like, me and you are on this path thinking like, okay, how can we help these fucking Jeffries to, to truly believe us that tr quitting video games is going to be such a fantastic choice for them. Those guys, they're such down in the depths of that addiction that like, they're so, what's the word? They're so defensive about it that you can't even get to them. The moment that you criticize video games, the moment that you you, t you speak to them in an attitude saying like, you're better than this, like we're on their side and they'll drop out of the conversation, they'll tune out, they'll comment and say some bullshit like, oh, you're wrong about video games, Hamza, because X. Do you know, I'm, I'll make a separate video on this, but it's really making me think, like, just, just don't do anything stupid, don't, just don't get addicted to any kind of instant gratification, and you're on top of fucking 80% of people. Really, that's like, most of self-improvement straight away is done if you're just not addicted to porn, video games, or drugs. Or social media, that's it. Like, pretty much, just don't be addicted to those things, just give up those fucking vices, and nothing is really stopping you now. You're, you've got a clean slate to build upon everything. The guys who struggle with, with self-improvement, it's always because they're addicted to one of those things. It's always, always because they're addicted to porn, video games, social media, or some kind of drugs, or sugary food and shit. That's it. Because if you don't have that, like, negative thing pulling you down, then all you can do with, like, your nice positive habits is just build yourself up. These guys, like, they don't even know what they're doing. Really saddens me, but I also feel like I need to take more responsibility because as I'm saying all this, especially in the last couple of minutes, I'm also thinking that, per like, you know, I'm I'm kind of upset because they're not taking the advice, but like, that isn't their responsibility. A leader has to really think if his advice and his the plan hasn't worked, it's the leader's responsibility. So it's making me think that perhaps the way that I've been given advice, yeah, I've been, I've been, it's not even like that. Like, I feel like it's already helped me already with the video game shit in general but uh, more so it's like you, you, you get to extrapolate further like if you're an esports gamer and then like these young men within their desperation within their how do i say this stupidity they use that as a coping mechanism in order to keep playing the video game oh esports esports esports, esports. i know i can't make it in esports for me personally by the way but i still play because i'm a fucking retard because i'm an idiot I don't understand like, the consequences of my actions. I'm 18 years old. It doesn't feel real. I'm pushing 20, bro. In two years, I'm 20. And I'm raging at some kids at a video game. This guy's the video game at 21 years old. I meet some of these guys at 21. You've got girlfriends and everything that play the video game as well. Congratulations, congratulations, you're all fucking losers. Like it, it, it's a weird, it's a weird dynamic to be in. You cannot save those that don't want to be saved. They, like that first, like this is this is where like Jordan Peterson is correct about um individuals like Hamza. You you're fucking you're some egotistical fuck if you think you can save people that don't even have their own redemption, their own savior uh, saving. They they don't even see say uh, them themselves to be saved in the first place. You're an egotistical fuck if you think that you can redeem those that don't even want to be redeemed in the first place. 
It's like, it's like saying to a hard uh, criminal, a hard criminal who is used to murder and used to horrible, devious things that, uh, that would label him not only into a menace to society, but a menace to humanity. He's done things like torture and like, you know, drug funneling, human trafficking, etc., etc. Everything under the sun he's done. He's a hard criminal. He's a, he's a vicious bastard. And telling him, oh, you're better than this. Like, you can't do that, bro. You can only save those that think to themselves, hey, I'm a, bit, I'm a bit of a loser. I'm a, pit, a bit of a shitter. Like, I had the thought before this video even played. I had the such with this video. Unscripted as fuck. This is chun cut. This is unscripted as fuck. I had such a video. I had to find the video. And within the video, he said, like, oh, yeah, think about the two two types of things that are um, pathways that you could have led down. And this is the mindset that Han has given to me. This is the mindset that uh, people that I read books off that have given to me. But, like, bro, if, if I didn't think that in the first place, and I was still, like, hooked on the video game, still playing the video games, and my eyes are fried, my teeth hurts. I know I'm not, I can't breathe in my nose. I got a headache. I'm lethargic. I'm tired. Even within all that, I still want to play video games. I, and I don't have the thought at all, like, hey, my mom is fucking working at the moment. And I, you can't, you can't save me. I'm too, I'm too, I'm too down in the gutter. That person can only come and save himself. And you can say it again and again and again. You can say that a thousand times. You cannot save him. It is purely like, it is this, I think it's hubris, bro. I think it's genuine hubris. It's like saying to a Satan worshipper that you should believe in God. Like he'll laugh in your face and then he'll go fucking do some sane worshipper bullshit activities. Some pagan shit. Like sacrifice his blood or some shit. I don't know what the fuck they do. Like it's it's stupid. You can't, like someone is so low, they, they, they are the crabs that pull you down into the bucket, bro. You can't pull out the crabs out, you can only eat them. You know, you can only go past them. You can only you can only swallow them, and you can only move forward, regardless. Come on, man. Now, if I didn't have the thought today of, bro, I need to stop playing. I need to get off. I just I just turned on my PS4 and I packed I packed up all my shit. A PS4 I usually leave it there. Usually leave the HDMI connected. I packed up all all it's it's pain in the ass to to set up into a thing. I, I made it intentionally pain in the ass because I was talking about it. But not only tell me how to James, I still find a way to do it because the, the motivation to play, the gaming mood, is very very it's very very high. But yeah, for a split second, like I buy myself some time instead of being just be able to just beep and then turn it on. If you have PS4 or Xbox, you know, that, that's where it goes. Instead of just pressing the button and then it turning on, you have a split second to think, hey, do I really want to turn it on? And then you have your book next to you. It's, it's on my mattress on the floor. The tunnel right there. And then you have the opportunity to think and then read the book instead. You know. And most people aren't like that. I'm fucking people. People would see me approach video games like, be like, "Why are you so extra? Why so this? Why is that?" When well, they don't understand that I'm a fucking, I'm, 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 a, I'm, a, I'm an addict, bro. I have an addictive personality. I would much rather be addicted to work. I would much rather be a workaholic, working on my YouTube, working on the video, working on this, working on that. I would much rather do that shit. A lot of young men, young men, would I think would behave, would think and behave the same as well, given the opportunity, of course, and like. Bro, when you do what I do, when you give you the opportunity to like give yourself leeway to think, you can actually make a decision that can help you in the future, bro. You know the biggest thing, the biggest takeaway I can take from this video, and the biggest thing to take away from me wanting to quit video games and me actually turning off the PS4, and making a fucking verbal quit. I'm about to message a guy that wants to buy the um, PS4 for. I'll message your size right now. Mm. Bro, Ali Abdul was here. I didn't mean for you to comment. I'm going to open WhatsApp. I want to message um a friend, a client, and I'm going to try to sell the PS4. But yeah, like, like, bro, come on, man. Like, you can't. Is it? It's, it's hubris. It's it's this idea that you think you're so great. You know, I'm a I'm a good leader. I read I read the, the, that lead, one book, uh, Five Levels to Leadership by John Ma uh, Maxwell, and I think I'm a really good fucking. I'm a I'm a really good fucking leader. Like, you're not a good leader. I mean, 
surprised as I don't think. You are a good leader! She's not a good leader to these people. You can't lead Spurgs, bro. The Spurgs, you call them in the first place Spurgs. What are they? Spurgs, you can't lead them. Okay, some people are messaging me. Let me, um. Um, yeah, I want to message them in the back in a minute. I don't use WhatsApp during the day. I, I want to see my master awards for Apex, but, oh, but beyond that, like, I, I, like, come on, like, it's, that's gonna, that's gonna be, like, and that's what I'm thinking about. I want to see my master awards. That's why I want to keep my PS4. I'm gonna miss out on money, and I'm gonna keep my, keep playing the video game, and I'm gonna be being a fucking spur. Like, strapping. What will it cost me? I'll look at my master awards. I'll look at my master trail. I'm like, oh my god, master trail. Play the game more and 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 more. And more. Definitely have been speaking too hostile and I bring too much aggression to this argument. <sighs> this shit is exactly that. Like an empty, but vapious, black hole. Nothing, bro. Like, I'm a dumbass. They pooped this shit. Yeah, I agree. But you're a bigger dumbass if you think you can fucking handle it. It's like um, some athletes in my gym. They like to smoke weed. I'm not gonna name any names. I'm not gonna expose anyone. They like to smoke weed. And they like to fuck around with women. And I say one thing to them. And then they, you usually take it like, oh yeah, it's fine, no, I, can, I can do it. But I think one thing to them, and, say, and I think one thing, it was kind of like resonating with them for a good second. Then they knew what I'm talking about, no one talking about. Ow! That hurt. I say one thing to them, and I say one thing that usually really, really resonates with them, and that is weed and woman ruined Mike Tyson. Possibly one of the greatest fighters that have ever graced the, uh, the ring and graced the world. One of the greatest heavyweight fighters in, in history. Had he been disciplined, had he been working hard still, <coughs> we would have seen the greatest fight in history. <coughs> <coughs> I'm confident we would have seen an unblemished record of like 60 and 0 from Mike Tyson. Had he been disciplined and still working hard. And still boxing with his full mind completely and utterly devoted and focused to that type of thing. To sports, to boxing, to martial arts. Weed and woman came when, uh, when he was at a height of his thing. And money as well. I oh, forget that. He blames a lot of that money. I think it's more weed and woman. Because because of it. Like it, just, it really mellowed him out and chilled him out. And um, yeah, it just it put him in a weird spot. I think uh, yeah, it's just, it's just dumb in general. I think it's very dumb. It ruined Mike Tyson. What do you think it's gonna do to you? We don't want to ruin Mike Tyson. What do you think it's gonna do to you? You know how you even have the bare level of discipline that Mike Tyson has. The bare level of hard work and grit that Mike Tyson has. And you coming out here trying to fuck bitches, trying to smoke weed and chill. Come on man. And then I, I usually end it there because um they don't want to hear my rant, and I don't want to. I don't want to bother them either, because frankly, I don't have enough energy to care. Like, if I use too much energy to give a fuck, it's gonna fuck me up. Same thing with video games. Same thing with video games in general. Let's keep watching the video. I need to finish the video soon. Making me think, what is the right way? If anyone has like an idea, what is the right way to get a young man off video games, his addiction? 
that's a good guy's question. And I think it's down to the young man. What is the right way to get young man young man off video games and off thing? You could you could win in a debate all you want. You could be as cool as you want. No, I, let me actually take that back. You could you could win um thing in the argument all you want. You could be like, oh uh, well, video games aren't real, and you know, and then you stump him, and then you win the argument, you win the debate. Oh, you be, but like at the end of the day, what are you looking at, cat? You can win in the debate all you want. You can win in the argument all you want, but at the end of the day, like you probably still find a way to latch back into video games. You still find a way to. You big bro kiss. Mm-hmm. You'll still find a way to play video games, be a spurred, be a retard, be a fucking an, ass- an asshole in that sense. And I think that the best way to go about this type of thing is just it's just to not bother. You know, because it depends on the young man, y- young man in general. Like, um, if a young man has ambition, has desire to, in order to grow, then sure. But if he doesn't, then like, what the fuck's the point, bro? Like, he's so far down the pit. The only real other way, and this is a completely utterly unrealistic, is to show like brutal results. Like you pull up in front of his house in a supercar, and like this is fucking crazy, but this is completely unrealistic. And but it's the, it is a, it is I think one of the only good really good ways to go about it is you pull up in front of his house in a supercar, bring cute girls over, you show him the lifestyle, you show him the lavish lifestyle, just for three days, maybe a week even if you're feeling fucking really fucking good about it. And then you don't do it again. For years. You live your life. You're still living that lifestyle. You're still working hard, of course. Still disciplined. Still getting in shape. Still making money. Still doing this. Still got the cute girls. But you just put them in, in the lifestyle for a week. And then out of the lifestyle for a week. Meow. Mm. Oh, joy. Meow. Mm, I love you. And then you just siphon him out of the lifestyle. And then he he, be, he he thinks about that one week we had it with his best friend Jimmy. And he thinks to himself, Oh shit, Jimmy's living a good life. Jimmy's living a good life. Why do you give me like that? You just chill my desk and look pretty. Go kick it off. Ah. Okay, 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 okay. Mm. Let, me, let me record a video, bro. Fuck, man. My chair feels fucked. And after that, you just have him out of the lifestyle. Make him think about it. If he, got, if he goes back to the video games and the spurred activities, then congratulations, you dodged a bullet. You know, no matter how talented, you are the best video editor you ever had, best photographer, best whatever, whatever, right? It doesn't matter what value he brings. If he doesn't have that base level of hard work ethic, if he doesn't have that base level of ambition, the base level of mindset, the base level of understanding of the repercussions of his actions, of course, that can be taught to him and you can teach him to, to it. But if he doesn't, under, you can teach him. And he can learn about it, but it, does he understand it? That's the big question. And if he doesn't have the base level of understanding after you taught him, like, hey, if you play video games, look at these spurs, look at these losers. Like, I've done this to my friends before, and they still play fucking video games. They're still losers, by the way, so I don't, I don't, I don't associate with them anymore. But, um, and they are, I still would consider my friends, all my best friends. And, um, yeah, if, you got, if, you, if you're watching, you're watching, boys. Not good. If, 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 if you don't ha- if you don't have that and then you, you tell them like hey you look at these hikikomoris look at these losers look at these guys that are neat they just stay at home all day they just play video games all day they, they, they do absolutely fucking nothing worth of the in their lives look at them you could be one of them and very very soon you can be one of them
and they don't understand, and even if they don't understand from that, from you like really highlighting it, really showing that you care, so be it. So be it. Okay. New zoom's over. A few seconds. I'm gonna go meditate. I'm gonna go read, and then after that, I'm gonna go really try to focus. <sighs> Stuff the love and gratitude. It's through brutal like understanding. It's through brutalism. I think, especially for young men. Like young men need to fucking know like, the truth. Like, you need to fucking learn the hard way. Young men always need to learn the fucking hard way. Like until they have that base level hard work ethic. Like it's, it's fucking hard, bro. It's genuinely hard. Like and, and this is obviously for me. I'm like, a personal bias. But like I don't think I'm that special. I think I'm, I'm quite fucking. I'm kind of the same as a lot of other people. That's how we have like memes we can all relate to. They're all quite similar. Um, oh, I'm not being autistic, I'm playing my headphones. I think we're all quite similar in that sense. Well, we, we all need to learn the hard way. We all need to learn the truth the hard way. And young men have this, this, this um, divine blessing of time. Time is usually on our side, up until we're like 40 or 30 or some shit. Then you're really fucked up and you need your shit together. Oh, wait, you, you're, you're pushing 40. Like, there's some guys I've seen online. They look hideous, obviously. They look ugly as fuck. And they're out of shape. And they're losers and they're broke and they're pushing 40, they're like 36, 37, they're pushing 40 years old. And they have this like broken mindset. Oh my god, job so hard, economy is so hard, I felt so wrong. Like, shut the fuck up. That's how I feel about that, anyways. There was a guy called Adam before I saw him around. He was a fucking absolutely complete loser. That's why I don't I fucking associate with these type of people. I don't want to be like you. Um, I might be friends with you, but I don't, I don't want to be like you. We don't hang out, we don't talk, we don't talk often. Um, I'm, not, I'm not completely unhappy about that. I'm quite happy about that. And uh, you see it within their eyes and within their mind, the way they talk and the way they orate themselves and the way they, the way they think. They position themselves. Not only th throughout the video, throughout their life as well. Like my job was so hard and the economy is shit. And, yeah, we just get by, get by in your uh, minimum wage job and I never fully felt like I was doing something right. Like a pussy. Like da, 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 da. Get money. Get money in a life worth living. Everyone focus. I tell that to people, and then they, everyone focuses on the get money part. Get money. Go, go fucking go jump off a bridge. Go f yourself. Go f. Go, go k yourself. Go off yourself, dude. That's what I, that's what I get from it. But listen, bro. A life worth living. You can't have that in the modern day without money on the, at the base level because you you won't have your mind right. You have no power of your, of your life of your world, and that's the way it is. That's the way it goes. Where it goes. And that guy, he was a loser, he's pushing 40, and you see his mindset, his mindset is fuck. Um, I don't vote for him, I don't care. It's, it's hard to care when they don't care about themselves. It's making me think of like creating like some kind of like framework or. Plan, no, the hard way. Or, you know, I used to do those long videos on the main channel, like a full like one hour guide on like quitting video games, a full step by step process for all these people. Yeah, right? Not like, especially when you don't feel like. Yo! <laughs> it's a good video. Um, millionaire douche thinks you're a loser if you play video games. I mean, take a look at him. Take a look at this guy, the act man. Mm -mm. Mm. Take a good look at these people, bro. Take a good look at these people. That's it. That's what I'm gonna tell you. I learned before watching. The, I think my game watching the video games, especially with Elden Ring and Horizon recently released. I'm like, screw that. Let's hit the gym, read something, sleep early. So, oh, literally, what out of mine. Thanks, H. I learned this in Harder College. I woke up as soon as I stopped. My grades skyrocketed. Now I just play when I like race from school. I can honestly say my life was never going anywhere. I didn't play video games. I used to play all day, every day. I got goals and it feels good. I learned though it can be easy with practicing even without video games. Yeah, of course. Yeah, this is a good idea. This is a good way to go. I just hate video games. I mean, the video game is terrible. It only leads to misery and lack of self worth. It's really got me thinking about the past when I used to play video games. Even from a young age, I can't say I regret it fully. I used to play these historically strategy games I did. And while I did waste countless hours and I probably did miss out on opportunities, I kindled an interest in history. I'm very grateful for as history is one of my biggest passions. Blah, 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 blah. 
Yeah, I'm not gonna fucking keep reading this shit bullshit. Catch you guys in the next video. Peace. If you guys oh, like this video, then like and subscribe. And I'm sorry, I'll, I'll shut the fuck up. <laughs> Live mediocre, die mediocre. Peace.